What up, homies? Thank you very much for tuning in. It's Beer Monster O'Clock. And uh, God help me with this one, because I'm going to be trying a super strength lager. <laughs> it's a Kestrel Super. It comes in at an absolutely whopping 9% ABV. And it's a 500 mil can as well, so they ain't scrimped on the size of it either. That's a big, strong mama of a beer. And uh, I'm looking forward to trying it. Apparently it's award winning, uh, and it says that it's a premium lager. I'm not sure about that. It's born in Scotland, crafted, crafted using the holy brewing method. I wonder what sort of holy brewing method that is. Maybe that's why, how they got it to 9%. Holy brewing method of rotting your liver. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't knock it to you trying it. It's cost me £2.50 in my local corner shop, which is a premiere. And uh, let's get it open, shall we? See what it's all about. God help me. Yeah, I have tried a few 7% lagers, like a special brew by Colesberg, Kapaki, a Polish one, which is like 9%. This is even stronger than Special Brew. I think Special Brew is like 7.5% now. And this is 9%. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've tried another couple as well. But uh, their name escapes me. <sighs> to be fair, it doesn't look too bad. You've got a lot of carbonation sticking to the glass there. Which is probably my fault. For not drying it up. There we go. It's a little bit more appealing. Uh, the head disappeared quite quickly. That does tend to happen on a lot of the higher strength uh, beers. Um, <laughs> now it just looks like a looks sort of golden -y sort of colour, isn't it, really? With uh, quite low le levels of carbonation in there. Just slowly working their way up the glass. Let's uh, get the aroma on this one. Like me, uh, me nose there's could do with a bit of a trim. <laughs> There's not actually that much aroma. What is there it smells quite sweet, a little bit of citrus. And like some sort of bready malts. To be fair, all the other super strength beers have had this kind of really fake sort of sweetness about them, kind of syrupy sweetness about them. And this one doesn't. So it's got that going for it. Uh, little bit less scared now, but let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Bosh, let's do it properly. Okay. That was a bit of an anti-climax. It's actually not bad. I'm actually really shocked. I was getting ready for all sorts of weird faces to come out and sort of, you know, I took quite a big gulp as well, as you can see, for a 9% beer. I just thought, sorry, let's do it properly. It's actually not that bad. It's so much better than that uh, Kapaki I tried and a million times better than uh, <clears throat> Uh, special brew, Carlsberg Special Brew. And I'm pretty sure whatever the other one or two were that I've tried, all this sort of strength, sort of cheapo beers, were a lot worse as well. This doesn't have that syrupy, uh, artificial, chemically sort of, you know, where it tastes like they've put in loads of syrup and stuff to try and mask the alcohol. This actually reminds me more of like drinking a strong, decent Belgian beer or something like that. I'm actually rather shocked. Can't get over that. It, although it's 9%, for me, it doesn't taste 9% either. I really don't. It, even the Carlsberg um, Special Brew tasted a lot stronger than this in high, high, uh, in the ABV department. And it's only 7.5 or only, but you know, it's, it's weaker. Not ridiculously sweet either. There is a slight sweetness in there. But it's a nice sweetness sort of um, coming from the malts. The sort of bready doughy malts in here. 
Add some citrus as well. Almost tastes a little bit like um, like there's some apples in here. I've got a slight cyber, a cyber, cider sort of vibe about it. Um, I'm really surprised it is not nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. I'm getting an appley taste and like a, the alcohol, like you, the main taste probably is the alcohol, but it's not like extreme, and it's quite a nice taste in alcoholy taste, almost like a rum or something like that. It's not like I can't feel it burning me insides out or anything like that, which uh, I think when I was drinking that Kapaki Premium Soup or whatever it was, uh, was 9%, I could literally feel it burning. I can feel a nice sort of alcohol warmth as it goes down, which you sort of expect from a, you know, uh, like a Belgium trip or something like that, but it's not unpleasant. Don't get me wrong, I wouldn't seek out, seek this out again in any rush, but that's just more for the sake of my liver, because it is actually quite nice, and it's not something that um, I would want to get used to drinking, uh, for obvious reasons, but if I just wanted a quick buzz and I didn't have a lot of money, that'd do the job. It's surprisingly not bad at all. Uh, it's really so much better than uh, the other ones I've tried. I'm actually rather shocked. I've got to say, I'm rather shocked. That it's really not bad. I don't know if it's just me or not. All right. Let me know if you've tried this as well. Don't get it wrong, it's not amazing or anything like that. But it's drinkable. It is drinkable. It is strong. It's very strong. Uh, 9%, you know, that's, that is a, I've, there's 4.5 units in that one can. So, uh, about four cans of that, you're away with the fairies, isn't you? <laughs> Score-wise, I'm going to compare this to the other sort of beers that I've tried in the same category, the super strength lagers, the sort of, you know, you could refer to them as tramps, uh, tramp juice or, or what have you. Um, but this one, I, I, you know, I think it's better than that. I don't think it deserves to be called uh, tramp juice. Um, for what it is, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, even though I wouldn't buy it again because of the strength of it, really. not Possibly would. But, um, yeah, it surprised me and it's by far the best beer in this category that I've tried and it would surprise me if I ever try one in this sort of category that tops an 8 out of 10 <clears throat> but again like I say I'm not comparing this to the Belgium triples of the world or this that and the other I'm comparing this to Super Tenants and Carpacki, uh Super um, Special Brew all that sort of thing this one is the best one I've tried so far and uh, <laughs> yeah I'm just kind of a bit of an anti-climax I was expecting it to be a bit more fun in this video I certainly wasn't expecting to be able to drink it all. Uh, but yeah, this is not going down the sink. Um, I'm going to drink that. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I really do appreciate every single one of you and the ones that made it this far. Uh, thanks so much. And uh, hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, if you've already subscribed to the channel, thank you very much for that as well. Till the next one, guys. Nothing more to say. Bye-bye, darlings.